y'all. What's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here. I'm super pumped about today's video. Today, we're going to talk about the top five reasons that you should start an electrical company. Tomorrow, we're going to cover the top five reasons you shouldn't. Now, this list today, I do want to give this little disclaimer that these are the benefits that you're going to start enjoying after a few years of being in business, okay? Um, and really start enjoying them when you get to five you know, years and plus. Not that you can't enjoy them before, but to really get the fruit of these because I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you any of the negatives today. I'm going to tell you all the good and all the glory and all the greatness of owning your own business. We're not going to talk about any of the bad. Today, we're just going to talk about the good. But remember and keep in mind that these aren't things that you're going to see right away. So let's talk about the five reasons you should start an electrical company. Let's get to it. All right. So the first reason that you want to start an electrical company is the freedom. Now, let's be honest. When you work for the man 40 to 60 hours a week, you don't have time to do anything. And when you do get home, what are you? You're exhausted, aren't you? Can't move, can't breathe. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, and I got one in every drawer. With that being said, the freedom, once you get to that level and your business is established and you've got some employees and you're working and you have you know, set up your schedule, you've learned the ins and outs, you've went through the hard first few years, you really start to have a lot of freedom. And let me explain what I mean. Freedom to be able to go to that recital go to that play, go to that ball game, freedom to be able to start a little bit later. When you work for the man, right? They might want you there at six. You're getting up at four, just trying to get your stuff together to get out the door. So you start to be able to create and craft your own schedule. We're not going to talk about any of the negatives today. We're only going to talk about the positives. And the first thing that I want you to think about that you're going to be able to get once you've got an established business and you're really focused hard on the grind is you're going to get some freedom that you didn't have before. Maybe freedom in the evening, maybe freedom on a Saturday that you didn't used to have. So it it really is going to open up a lot of doors of freedom. The second thing that it's going to give you is more money. And let me explain what I mean, because I don't necessarily mean more money on Friday, although it may after a few years, and ultimately it will give you two, three, four X, maybe what you're making now. But what it will give you is more money available. Okay. It's going to make cash more available. So when you work for the man, when do you get paid? Get paid on Friday, don't you? Maybe every other Friday, maybe once a month. And so that cash is uh, finite. It's only available on Fridays. With that being said, when you work for yourself, often cash is coming in every single day. You got money coming in every single day. And what that affords you to do is to be able to always buy that loaf of bread, always be able to pay that bill, always be able to fill that need, whatever it is. Especially when you're first starting out, things are hard. You're just grinding, you know, just, you know, getting yourself off the ground. What it allows you to do is be able to have a cash available. The third thing that it's going to do is allow you to make a greater impact. When you work for someone else, you're really limited to what they allow you to do, aren't you? So, you couldn't go on a Thursday and volunteer down at your church or maybe down at your community center, you know, some of your electrical skills. It's going to allow you to make a greater impact in your community to be able to serve or help other people. It's also going to be able to allow you to make impact in other people's lives through gainful employment. I cannot tell you the relationship and the impact you can have over someone by employing them. Um, you can train them. You can help them. You can you know, uh, take care of them when they need help and they're having their baby give them three days paid off. You can make a really great impact in people's lives individually and also it allows you to make a greater impact in your community. As you increase your skills and increase your – I've got a colleague of mine that uh, you know, does tons you know, of volunteer work you know, when the time is right, does whole homes, you know, lots of things. He's able to take his men and his company that he's built and be able to do a lot of good with it and make a really great impact. So the fourth thing is the reward. You know, there's nothing greater than, you know, getting an email from Google saying so-and-so left your review and they're like, oh, you know, it's so great. They did such a great job. I wouldn't use any other company. Those are some of the rewards. Also, some of the rewards is when you see someone you've trained uh, maybe go out on their own or someone you've trained really start to shine inside of your company. So those are some of the rewards and the benefits that you see of offering gainful employment to the marketplace. It's a huge reward when you see your company saying, we did it. We're doing this thing. You know, when you're there on Friday afternoon and payroll's taken care of and you've got work next week and you're two or three weeks ahead on your payroll and you're like, man, this is great. That's some of the reward. Those are some of the great times or when the customers call you and say, this is amazing. Or when their aunt calls you and says, oh my goodness, you did my, uh, you know, my niece's job and it looks gorgeous. I wouldn't have anybody else but you come on my job. There's so many rewards um, knowing that you've done quality work and helped people's home and made that home safer. Those are the rewards that you get. And I tell you, they are great. You do get some of those um, working for someone else. But uh, 
it's you know the risk reward deal like we talked a little bit about yesterday about your risk and stress tolerance but the, there is a greater risk but the reward is much higher and finally i want to talk to you about the pride and I, and i don't mean the negative type of pride i mean the good type of pride saying hey we're doing this we're creating something we're helping others you know make gainful employment so these are just some of the things that i want you to think about uh while we're on this line if you're working for someone else you can achieve all of these things as well. Don't think that you have to get self-employment in order to have these things. You may have to work yourself up higher, but you can make an impact right where you're at. You can get the reward right where you're at. You can have that pride right where you're at. You also can get more money, and ultimately you, you can get in a position where you can get some more freedom. So I don't want you to think that you have to have your own business to be able to achieve these things. So, But as far as the pride goes, just knowing that you did it, you know, you and, and God and and your family and your wife supported you, your husband supported you, your friend supported you, you know, the people at the supply house supported you, rooting for you, knowing that you went out and you worked hard and you did your part. You you did it. You made it. That's just such a great feeling, I can't tell you. You know, you go through the bumps, you go through the bruises, but you know, your second year in, your third year in, your fourth year in, you made it, you did it. It's just a great feeling to know that you can do it. Even if you go back and work for somebody else at a later point, you know, uh, you know, in a higher position and you know, always be moving up. I don't care what you do, if you go from working for yourself to somebody else to back for yourself, whatever, as long as you're moving up and making advancements. And remember, always be playing the long hand game. We're not playing a shorthand game here, we're playing a long hand game of advancement and ultimately greater impact that we can make so i want to see you guys win these are the five reasons that i have no particular order and these are some of the benefits that you're going to start seeing you know high quality um, benefits that you're going to start seeing around two to five years and as you get farther and farther into it you get more and more freedom more and more money can make more and more of an impact it's such a greater reward and the level of pride is so much higher not without its bumps bruises depressions hard times and everything else so i really just want to see you guys win i think it's super crucial that if you're starting your own business or have already started it or thinking about starting your business that you watch these video series this week i can save you a lot of time and headache and maybe just give you a few pointers so and remember don't be a follower be a student take a little from me take a little bit from somebody else but you can take it all in soak it in and then use what applies to you i am the electrical code coach this is the electricians in action let's get to it mm -hmm.